Okay, so today we have something super special. We have boom. What is that? <laughs> New looking sprites, even the nickels, I wasn't expecting that. Give me this, Tech 2 is very good. So I was browsing the workshop and you guys really liked when we checked out different looking sprites last time. And I was like, you know what, that was cool, huh? Now last time we did that, it was basically a mod. Wow, look at those weird looking coins. I'm not used to that. It was a mod that had a, a bunch of different mod re-sprites all collectively like put together, right? But today we're playing with uh, Shwainers, Shwaners. I'm gonna say Shwainers. Shwainers re-sprites. And I don't see anything to do with like any other artist. It's just them crediting themselves. So I'm led to believe that this was entirely their doing. And when I looked at the sprites for this mod, I was like, holy, these look awesome. Look at that key! So, the, okay, so the reason I love how these looked and I really wanted to play with it is because it looks like what Flash Isaac, if they kept like the vector art style, would turn into if it was meshed with Rebirth, right? Like this old key looks like how Edmund used to do his old keys in Flash uh, all the way back in Isaac and even Super Meat Boy. But I know some enemies are respreaded and over half the items are respreaded. So we're going to take a look at a lot of them. And over half the items in the entire video game. That's dedication. That's commendable. That sty, that's in the base game. <laughs> I'm going down. First room above me to start. Those red chests, I am getting PTSD of Flash Isaac. I'm telling you, it looks like it. Even the troll bombs look more uh, old style, right? Vanishing Twin is very good here, we'll take that. The mod was posted last year in October. I checked the description also and it kept saying like, hey, I'm constantly working on this. And the last time it was updated was actually April 15. So I'm led to believe, wow, you actually are just straight up updating it whenever you get the chance. Continuous giga chat activity by this person, IMO. Oh, we got ourselves a crawl space through our golden bomb and another nickel whoa what how does this even work oh there you go i see treasure looks, looks the same oh! what okay hello polyphemus uh, funnily enough poly seems to be completely the same unless i'm miscounting pixels here it seems basically the same thing the blind is different though i like the little haze effect behind it really adds to it Let's take this poly. That was just prayer card. There was no way we were taking anything different. Maybe I can find secret room. I mean, I have golden bomb moment. Oh, not so secret, are ya? I love how the bombs look here, actually. No disrespect to rebirth repentance bombs, right? But this look in combination with the satisfying explosion mod, where it just it just looks so much better. I I don't know. I'm I'm liking the bomb aesthetics here. Steam sale. Oh my god. Okay. Listen, this seems weird, the way that this is like kind of warped, right? Like what the heck is going on? But they did that in Flash Isaac and I, I I, just got taken back like Whiplash because it never really made sense to me in Flash either. Like why are they so warped and stretched? But it looked good and it looks good here too. Definitely taking Steam Shale and then reverse card afterwards. This is the world card. That'll give us a crawl space. Every time you have multiple crawl spaces on the same floor, you just go to the same place. There's no multiple different crawl spaces despite taking at different entrances. So we'll use this later. I like the Eternal Heart right now because I'm not even nervous. Poly plus Tech 2 is a broken combo because a lot of the Tech 2 damage is just going to be funneled through Polyphemus. Goodbye. Thanks for that old bandage. There you go. Thank you. Old bandage is broken. I'll go Devils. No, I won't. I don't have a roll. That would be worth. Nah, that wouldn't be worth. Let's go down. See, no reason why I don't just pop this open and head down. Find myself uh, some more of those cool looking chests. Those chests? I don't know. Maybe rebirth chests are a little too rectangular for me. But the way those chests look, a little bit more oval. It's just, I would, this is actually genuinely something I would run. And I'm not, I, I don't say that often. Whenever we play mods on the channel, I typically play them for just the single day and try and give them their best showcase in a, in a regular run that I can, right? And it's very rarely that I keep a, a mod on unless it highly impresses me and I think it's awesome. This is one of them, dude. Now, I'm not saying I will, but I'm just saying, like, even look how lo the, the blue flyer- Fly- The blue fly! The blue fire looks so sick, man. That white fire don't- don't look the same, but, you know. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. Danny Phantom mode. Blub. Blub Polly will be fine. Blub Polly, uh, double blub? Not something I accounted for. I'm immediately shitting myself. Alright, nice. We get toothpicks, we get another tears up, we don't get the angel. But we land in perfection. We get a small rock right here. No, just some soul hearts. I love how those soul hearts look, dude. They look so clean. Downpour dose gives us Monstro, which looks awesome. Hello? This looks cool, I just gotta take it. 
We're now shooting Monstro Poly. Uh, remote detonator we don't really need. Do I want to pay 7 cents for 5 bombs? I mean, that's just like a fair deal. Uh, actually, it's not even a fair deal. I would say I'm scamming the shopkeeper, but we keep that on the down low, okay? You're not supposed to let him know. <laughs> Now, how do we want to play this mirror dimension? Do I want to roll devil or do I want to roll well, devil? What am I talking about? Boss room or treasure room? I think we go treasure, right? Because I might have the chance to see a cooler item. I know the boss room item is going to be halfway decent. It'll be a tears up, an HP up, a range up, you know, but it can't be anything nasty, nasty. Not like I have any use for the knife at all, right? I might as well take a gamble and making it useful and take the guaranteed W through the boss room pool. Gimme, gimme, boom! Whoa! An interesting take! Uh, too bad it's a terrible item, right? Uh, I, you know what? I, I'd say I'm completely happy considering I got to see that cool sprite of Dana Miner. You're done for. Range up. This is actually a range down with Monstro's Lung. Don't ask me why I took it. It's not a big deal. Who cares? I think about it. We have a lot of vanilla flash items as well. Not not all of them, of course. I mean, there's a few that are just like, whoa, whoa, oh my god, that would never work in flash, aka anti-gravity. But, you know, Bob's rain looks cool, let's take that. It's feeling pretty it's feeling pretty vanilla right now. I'm enjoying my time. Catacombs gaming. These, these spiders look different? They do! They got a little bit of wrinkles on the side of their mouths. Interesting. Bob's rain can hit us, but I mean, as long as I'm just paying halfway decent attention, the damage that I take, which will probably inevitably happen, really shouldn't be that significant, right? I love those guys. I need them in my game immediately. They immediately make way more sense. I don't think many of you understand how shocked to my core I am currently. Those guys that pop out and are purple worms and do swirlies make 10 times more sense if they're mummified like Ragman. I didn't realize those two were connected. Maybe they're not, but it just makes sense that they are. I love that. Incredible. Oh! Let's take this and then is that? <laughs> That's Pokey Goat. There is a Pokeball on the bottom and it looks like he's trying to capture a Gaper. Catch them all, Isaac. These guys seem relatively the same. Let's open this chest. We get a bomb and sticky bombs. They look pretty cool, but do I want them? No. Also, I just looked at my D6 to check my charges. My D6 don't look like a D6. It's looking like the dice. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? Oh! Ah, you know what? This isn't exactly that incredible, but we do get a devil deal at the end of this. Meaning, we may be able to see some cool new devil sprites. What is that? I, okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I, uh, I thought that was like a hand. I'm talking like Dr. Octavia's hand trying to grab someone. If I knew there was a, a, a pedestal in here, I would not have rolled. Not to mention, that is actually a weird secret room. I might not have actually guessed that naturally without a few guesses. Whoa, that looks way too much like Flash. That was crazy. Those fires in combination with those dudes showing up, that that just like hit a neuron for me. Whoa, my God. What about in here? Cool looking books. I like how the Book of Revs uh, looks. We're not going to use it because we don't want to guarantee ourselves a ball or bandages and or a cube of meat. My issue is, right, I might be able to land an angel room and then I'm like forced with the decision of what do I want to do. The mark is just sitting there, just sitting nice and pretty. <laughs> uh, in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, should I take it? I mean, sure. And then I still technically get this angel room because I spawned it, right? You can't take it away from me. Hello? Is that angelic prism? Is that what that's supposed to be? That is a cool looking sprite. I like duality too, the yin yang there. Well, I feel like they've just given me a golden opportunity. I can't pass this up, right? You're giving me five pedestals to roll as Isaac. Like what? <laughs> Thank you. Secret rooms can suck it. This is way more fun. There goes my perfection, bozo. Oh well. Roll? Oh man. Wait, Eucharist! Big! That's really good. Am I able to leave and get a battery? I think there was a battery, right? I don't know. I feel like the more fun play is roll the secret, take the guaranteed angel. Like the, the conjoined baby. Yoink. Ah, keeper's box. Okay. That's fair. Oh! Let's go, dude. Mom's key. We're really rolling in it now. That was actually a pretty sick play, to be honest. Let's go back here. Yeah, we'll take the conjoined progress. I think this is the smart play. Yeah, let's go, dude. So far, every sprite I've seen has left me in nothing but like pure gasping and awe. And I'm just so impressed with how everything looks. It's got that clean, like, Vector Flash I Isaac style that I love so much, but it's beautifully incorporated with, like, how Rebirth looks right now. I think we fight this boss immediately. Due to Eucharist, we can reveal our angel room very fast. Plus, there's a battery there. Yeah, I mean, the game is just calling me to do this. Let's go. 
Ah! <laughs> Aha! It's you, but twice? I could have never known! Uh, definitely tears up, definitely tears up. Let's see what we have going on here. Miter. Hey, that miter looks pretty cool. I think we fight the angel and just go for multiple rolls right here. This is why we took Eucharist, just for moments like this. There's the tick! I don't really want that, though. Roll. Holy water looks the most flash out of every single item I've seen. And if you've played flash, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's try rolling that right now. That fat bat got really fat. <laughs> Bro put on another 50 pounds minimum. <laughs> Hello? D8. Looks like really cool. I don't need it. How about I just uh, use it for fun? My stats. Oh, my, my stats. My stats didn't suffer at all. They actually went really great. Plus eight damage. I'm gonna force a good item to show up in this angel room. You cannot stop me. I know it's just gonna happen. Something beautiful. I'm gonna press spacebar. I'm gonna scream. It's gonna cut off. Someone's gonna timestamp it. No. <laughs> I know, I know at least half of you beautifully believed in that moment right there. I, I felt it. I looked into the future and I felt your guys' energy from the future. Reverse card? Reverse judgment. Of course it is. Alright, well, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes the game gives you freebies. Chest, dark room, just use it there. I mean, I would have loved to use it on the secret room last floor. Of course, I do not have time reversing powers. Unfortunately, Isaac does not have the ladder item. I mean, I guess he does. What if stairway didn't work like it does now and instead it just made it so you go back to the last floor you were on? <laughs> Like, it's just literally a physical stairway that he just climbs. Oh, let me go back to the last floor. That would be cool. I think it would be busted? Wait, would it be busted? I don't think so. Uh, we, it that would probably be a crazy item. Quality four, right? But what a cool concept. You know, like, oh, you left the last floor and you didn't have bombs for the secret room even though you knew where it was. Well, you know what? You cleared this floor. You got some bombs. Go back to the last floor and open up that secret room. That sounds cool in concept. I'm sure if uh, someone were to put it in practice, it'd be broken, though. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, rosary and soul locket. I like how that rosary looks, but I don't know. With something as powerful as reverse judgment, in my opinion, the most powerful card in the game, you can't just go using it willy-nilly on a double angel room pedestal, right? You want to use it for the pedestal of the run. The thing that will game change everything. Roll! Oh, that looks like a really cool item. <laughs> That Immaculate Conception looks, in my opinion, so much cooler than whatever the hell that thing is in base game. Was there anything here? Oh, well, hold on. Don't, don't just do this. Oh, I was fully expecting him to do it. <laughs> I think we just take the angel and go. I don't know, it's a tough decision, right? I could definitely find something good. But then again, we have Eucharist. Like, it's not like I'm not going to get more angels. So let's take this for now. Don't take the tick by accident. And let's go. Hello, slow down mausoleum. Okay, big stuff here. Uh, hmm. I, I think I just roll. Boom. Celtic cross. Maybe the blind is good. Big fan. You know what? He's adorable, so I'll take it. Hey, a free stapler from the vault as well. You gotta always check these dudes. Oh, so good. Super strong run right round. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Right, it just seems like a really good run. But it is super strong. We just need to wait a little bit longer for when I finally get the opportunity to use my reverse judgment effectively. And a couple more angel room spawns, and I think we just we break here for real. Oh, see, this this might be the guy. I like how this devil beggar looks, by the way. I actually want to give him hearts. He doesn't just make me want to punch his face in like the other guy. I don't really know how much HP I have, so I'm going to pay six hearts for the initial payout. Uh, it's a little tough. I should have been paying attention to my HP. A couple more plays, let me pick up hearts because I know I need to get some of them. You know the best thing about tech 2 is whenever you get high enough damage and whenever you're damaging an enemy, it doesn't tick anymore, it's just like a flash of red. You know what I'm talking about? That's literally the best thing for me. I love tech 2 when it does that. Boom. Mystery gift. Well, you are just handing this to me on a silver platter, aren't you? <laughs> let me try paying out this devil beggar. If we don't, I'm not going to risk my HP getting that low because I just don't know what I'm having. We'll use the mystery gift instead to get the pedestal. Did I ever tell you guys that my best friend cried to this song? <laughs> Okay, I know that sounds made up, but I'm, I'm so serious. Uh, when Anti-Birth first came out, right, I played it, obviously, because everyone played Anti-Birth. That thing was sick. And I absolutely fell in love with Machine in the Walls. I was just thinking about it because the slowdown Machine in the Walls is hitting me in the feels right now. And I showed this song to my best friend Luis after, way after Anti-Birth's release. He had no idea what Anti-Birth was. I showed him it, and I, I, he literally, he said he was crying. Hey, I don't know. It's a beautiful song, okay? Devil paid out, he did, oh my god, it's gonna happen. Let me go buy that mystery gift. 
I mean, the mystery gift itself could just pay out something crazy right now, right? Oh, oh my god, that rock bottom looks so cute. <laughs> give me, give me. All right, let's just reverse judgment this then. That restock machine looks awesome as well. Book of Secrets. Let's not mess this up. If I were to take that right now, I would never forgive myself because I don't have a D6 equipped. Meaning I would just remove it from the pedestal. There you go. Let's not make a major mistake like that. Doing this, we can also save a reroll for the angel room instead. Straw man gaming. Hey, how you doing? He bum looking as he bum as ever. I don't think we need our key, especially considering it doesn't even look unique, right? It looks like the animated one that we saw. I showed off a lot earlier. Thank you for that, by the way. Still super epic. Now, let's just move on. We could keep rolling it. It's not over. We got a free cross space first, though, right? Pop a fly. We did land ourselves a rock bottom, so we are chilling. I'm trying to go for a bit more, though. Lost contact is broken. I like that it looks kind of translucent. Was that just me? It does. It's an optical illusion, but it looks translucent. That's a really cool effect. Siren, I haven't fought you in a while. I forgot you're doubled, but it doesn't really matter to me. You're already dead. My god. What is that? I'm gonna guess that's placenta. I'm not looking in the top left. I am correct. Okay, that's a pretty cool sprite. Binky looks more like a binky. That's pretty cool. And in here, we get stairway. Of course we do. Oh my god, it's literally the perfect item. Now I actually have an excuse to just skip out on rolling the angels, because I'm gonna get so many angels on it anyways. Like, it's perfect. One final thing to do. Roll. Oh! Okay, well, I got everything. There you go. We also have 30 cents, so the stairway can pay out something god- oh! oh, that godhead looks cool, dude. I want that. I gotta take that. That godhead looks kinda sick. If we pay out this beggar, we'll also get f f four angel items, I think worth. Beggars look a lot more cute in this version. They look more roundish. I like them. No payout? You can't be serious. I just complimented your looks. Oh, there you go. Okay, thank you. Uh, none of these are too crazy. I think I'll just take whatever just comes by. Linger bean! <laughs> so the big reason we wanted Godhead is one, it looks awesome, and two, it's homing. And homing with our damage multipliers is gonna go so hard, nothing will survive. I mean, just look at that, that loop-de-loop. -loop. You do the loop-de-loop -loop and then you pull. Then your shoes are looking cool. Boom. Dry, baby? Uh, that could be conjoined, right? Yeah, I'll take the, the cool looking dry baby. That guy looks awesome. Hey, what happens when I shoot? Don't I have godhead tears? I've just been using the laser to be honest with you. It's more than powerful enough. Oh yeah, I definitely shoot godhead. Me asking you if I'm gonna shoot godhead if I just picked up godhead. <laughs> Isaac mysteries no one's ever solved. I solved one of Isaac's biggest mysteries. <laughs> uh, is that basically it? Yeah, I mean, this was a bit of a meh floor. Uh, I think we just go for maybe a good angel, right? These angels are free! We don't have to pay for them or anything, so they matter the most. Hello. Oh! The orb of greatness. I don't want to go to the stairway on the next floor since I don't have the enough money. So instead we're going to roll this. Boom. Ah, nothing too crazy. Book of Virtues is pretty cool, I guess. I guess I'll take Salvation. This will give me Seraphim so I can fly. Nice! Uh, wait. This doesn't have an icon next to it. This is a TP. I should save it for when I get a roll. Hold on. I, I can min-max here. Or I'll, I'll get I'll get a roll when I fight the angel. Yeah, this has to be an angel room, right? So yeah. Oh! Nice. Don't need, but super cool to find. We fight the angel, get another roll, then we roll it, and then there's crown of light. That's kidney stone, but no sacred heart. Am I crazy? Right? I've already rolled out of the angel pool. Maybe I missed it. Damn, that sucks. Okay, well. We gotta take the cool looking uh, crown of light. And that halo looks awesome, but between all of these things, technically void is the best. I don't care about it too much though. I'll take the wafer because it's uh, second best. I'm going for pure on damage. I know I have rock bottom, right? So a uh, Matt's kidney stone would have been sick, but I, I have a monstro type uh, build here. So I just feel like I want to go full damage and just use the laser. Like having a strong 70 damage laser, that seems cool to me. I could spawn a blood bag. I won't, you know, be able to spin it. Okay, never mind. I was talking. We got conjoined. That's pretty cool. Video game. You're you're off script here, man. I'm. I, you understand that I have to set up the scene first, talk about it, add some stakes, and then and then the then then the payoff happens. I were those flash lumps? Were those flash lumps? Flash lumps were not on the list of things that I was willing to see today. Those mom hands look pretty cool. Let's -a go. Boom. It lives looked really cool just then. But we didn't get to see all of it because I destroyed her. We'll go negative. Yeah, let's go. Stairway gaming. Play out for me? Yeah, we are just... We, we missed Sacred Heart. Those look like really cool sprites though, so I'm not disappointed. I'm just surprised, I suppose. Bro really doesn't want to pay out. Okay. 
He's actually the greediest person I've ever known. There's Hamalacria. I can't complain anymore. Yoinky doinky. I actually don't have money to buy and whatever is there, so we're not gonna roll that whatsoever, right? This is gonna sound really, really weird, very off topic, but you know how like RPGs, I'm in an RPG mood because the Thousand Year Door remake just got announced, right? You know how like every single RPG tends to have like a, a an intro, like when you hit battle, you're like, you're just walking along, having a good time, you touch an enemy and then it goes, Pokemon. Do you guys have a favorite intro to an RPG? See, I don't play too many of them, but the few that I did when I was a kid, like uh, I think Bowser's Inside Story went, when you were playing as Bowser and you had an enemy, it would go, SHOW TIME! SHOW TIME! That was the coolest, most raw thing ever, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Two, three, and four. Good stuff. Uh, I'll never remember that I have the stopwatch. Fallen looks so cool! Oh my god, I, ha I, I, I haven't seen him look like that in years. He looks so faithful to Flash, that's crazy. I am having so much fun with this resprite. I really hope this person continues because the way they sprite things is so, it's, mwah, it's peak. Uh, Belial, rotten baby, forget me now. I guess I might as well check here, whatever. I could get, use mascara for more damage. That's what we were going for, right? Oh no, <laughs> I didn't get a coin. Can't take Eve, that sucks, oh well. I wanted to just mainly roll this stuff, right? Homing D100 looks like the Giga Neutron star. <laughs> That looks like the Death Star. That thing looks awesome. Boom. I'm noticing some things. <laughs> There's a lot to process. Top left, we have Soy. We have Pyromaniac, which looks absurdly cool. We take Soy. I wanted to take it later, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna have to roll that center room anyway. Cricket's body looks a lot more visceral. I don't know if I'm a fan. I feel kind of like a bad person immediately. I guess there's a little bit of charm in Cricket's body being very cartoony and not even matching up with the head. Because now that it looks a lot more uh, pronounced, I feel like a terrible bad. I'm like a bad person. I have nothing to do with Cricket's death, but I feel like I do. That being said, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't care how bad of a person I feel like. That's a good item. <laughs> Should I take triple shot? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, it's me. Gimme, gimme, yes. <laughs> what a powerful build we came across. And I got to vibe with Flash aesthetics and Rebirth. Today was absolutely a win. Rolling moment, backstabber. Dr. Fetus could be fun. I don't know. I think I'm about to send you guys to the gamer zone. What, you guys, you know, what, what was that? What? You don't know about the gamer zone? <laughs> No, it's it's a real thing. You don't you don't want to go there, dude. You you'll, you'll get destroyed. Not even a, a, the truest of gamers can survive the gamer zone. You need to be careful out there. Hey, there's a guy. There's no way you pay out with an item plus charges enough for my D6. Oh, I can't believe it. That spin down dice looks so awesome too. Wait, I have an idea. Hold on. We take spin down. We roll this. We either get parasite, which is godly, or we just manage to find death certificate. We we just get to look at everything. Oh, so close. Do I take the red key? Hold on. I could be wrong here. Oh, all right. Okay, let's go beat uh, Mega Satan. Uh, you know what? I mean, at that point, I will take Dr. Fetus for fun. Because why not? I'm totally serious, by the way. You really don't want to piss off any gamer masterminds out there lest you be sent to the gamer zone. You, that's the last thing you want. So I might explode, like, for real, for real. I don't have explosion immunity. I thought it would just be kind of fun to do this. But if I don't shoot for long enough, then I don't shoot the Dr. Fetuses and they don't explode, right? If I just use the laser, it's kind of an insta-win. I could literally just spam it like this and I would actually be able to kill things faster than most builds in the video game. Nothing but chaos and destruction. Also, those fires look awesome. What? They look so cool. Those are resprited as well. Literally changing boss fights. Actually, a, an amazing mod. Delirium. He just doesn't want to show up, guy. I don't understand. Well, you know what? I had the best time ever. GG.